I am the only full-time trader on the floor, and I am the youngest as well as the only African-American woman to be on the trading floor. Lauren Simmons made headlines earlier this year for being what some called the lone woman on Wall Street. She landed the job after attending a ton of networking events and cold calling dozens of people for opportunities. She eventually met the equity trading expert who would introduce her to Wall Street. Here's how she got here. I am from Marietta, Georgia. I went to Kennesaw State, majored in genetics. I started thinking about finance when finance shows me. <laughs> I moved to New York and had to leverage my minor in statistics. I'm pretty sure I lied and told people I was a statistics major. I believe I went to a hundred different events. So I got a lot of, well, good luck and reach out and all of them led to a dead end. I remember calling my mom saying, I think I'm gonna give up. Like, I think I'm gonna move back to Georgia because this is not working. And she told me, no, toughen it out. Stay there for a year, you will figure it out. You, you're determined, you can do this. I reached out to hundreds of people on LinkedIn. And that is how I met one of the gentlemen that introduced me to the trading floor. One only and four! I did not come into finance knowing finance whatsoever. So I didn't really know what a sales trader was previously. Typical day as a trader, I come in at six. I do a lot of research on how the markets are gonna open. I then relay that information back to our clients. Around 9.15 is when I go out, go out onto the trading floor and that's where you see a lot of the yelling and the screaming and the running around. And that's me with heels on <laughs> every day. And at 9.30, the bell rings. Everything calms down for a bit. And then at 3.45, closer to the end of the day bell, everything gets heightened again. I have to remind myself to take breathers, like Lauren, breathe, like just breathe. You got this. And the last 15 minutes of the day is where most of the volume happens on the trading floor and it is the most intense 15 minutes every single day. But then at four o'clock, it's all over. Like everything shuts down, all the traders are off the floor at 4.05. Skills to have for this role, being quick on your feet, whatever happens in any situation, you have to be able to respond quickly and efficiently. Every day I wear a trading jacket. Trading jacket looks like a, a men's blazer and they're also sized like men blazers. So one is a red one that I've gotten altered, tailored. And then the other one is still big and it looks like I'm wearing, you know, my uncle's like coat or something. And we also have to wear a badge. You get to pick your number, minus 811, which is my birthday. And it's historic for everyone that owns a badge. It's historic because you take a test to get this badge and you sign your name literally into history. So for me, being the second African-American woman in history to sign this book was amazing, is amazing, and it embodies everything that it's meant to be, to be on the trading floor. Advice to other women, you're gonna need thick skin because Right now, in the current times that we're in, unfortunately, we still have to go through things that we shouldn't. I think oftentimes we have this self-doubt. We think we can't do it. We think we're not qualified. And nine out of 10, you probably are. The, your biggest roadblock is going to be yourself. And once you realize that, hey, I can do this, I can put myself out there, worlds of opportunities are gonna come. Finance, I think, is my career, but I'm also a millennial, so <laughs> I don't know. We could be having a completely different conversation in 10 years. We'll see.